Alrighty guys, it is May 31st of 2023 and I have awesome news. We just looked at an email today that said that I pulled a deer tag, my dad pulled a deer tag, and Ben pulled an elk tag, which is huge. So we gotta start practicing and preparing for this hunt because we gotta take it seriously, especially for that elk hunt. So we're gonna go shooting. As the days went by and we kept practicing, we were feeling more and more confident with our shots. Soon, summer turned into fall and the elk hunt came right up on us. Guys, it is 11.59 p.m. It is the day before the elk hunt, and I'm happy to report that we finally have a game plan. The plan is pretty simple. We found this super cool elk hunting spot that is about four to five hours away from where we live, and so we're going to be driving throughout tonight and getting there super early in the morning. After we get there in the morning, we're going to set up and start scouting for some elk. The last step is hopefully we can stalk and maybe even have a chance at killing one, so let's pray and hope that we can get Get one. At around 12 in the morning, we decided to pack up and go to the spot. All that was left to do now was execute the plan exactly. Okay guys, it's a little bit past 5.15. We just got to the spot. We are going to activate stealth mode right now and we're just gonna go get the four wheelers off of the trailer and um, start heading over to the spot. With an unsuccessful hunt as the start of our three day trip, we were feeling really down. Also, to make matters worse, the place that we were hunting was filled with elk hunters. We tried to climb up into the alpine mountains, down into the low deserts, and we could not find a single thing. Even though there was majestic landscapes with wild horses running free and awesome sunsets, our day three hunt came to a close and we went home defeated until... It is really early in the morning. It is the last day of the elk hunt. This is gonna be a long shot, but there's a mountain range behind our house. It's about 45 minutes away. Um, on the west side of Utah Lake, there's a very, very sparse elk population, and so we're gonna see if we can even have a chance going for an elk. Not feeling too optimistic. It's really early, but uh, we trying to get Ben an elk, so we don't wanna waste the tag. Let's go do it. With a little spark of hope left, we decided to go up and try to hunt the spot. When we first got up there, we were calling and we couldn't see anything, so we decided to switch spots and then something crazy happened. Guys, we just found some elk. We were glassing over here and right in this grove of trees right there. That's where we saw the elk. They're really far, but we should be able to get to them today. I think they're gonna go and bed down, maybe. So we're gonna keep glassing at them and just moving towards them. Here's our plan. We're going to basically just walk along this ridge because it connects all those mountains. We got a kind of a long hike ahead of us, so hoping for the best. It's about 10 o'clock right now, so we've got a couple of hours to go and get this elk. Basically, we're walking behind the mountains that I showed you guys right now. Time is currently 12.05. We're almost up to the place. We're exhausted though. Our four wheelers are miles away. So we're gonna have to walk back if we get one. But it should be worth it. Let's see. Okay guys, so right now we're trying to get some rest real quick because we just walked up like this giant mountain and we're so done. So anyways, we're going to, um, we're gonna see what the plan is from here. We don't know really. Okay, update, we just walked like another mile to get to here. The place is actually just over this bridge right here, this one, it's just over it. And so if the elk stayed down there, they should be bedded. 
This is the plan. We're going all the way down to here. Cutting up, down, up, until we get to that ridge. Public land dens down over there. So we have all this taunt. Let's see what we make happen. Finally, inches away from reaching our goal, we climbed the rest of our hike, got set up, and started to call for the elk. And to our surprise, The cows responded. The elk are right in front of him. They're in those trees. You think that's 300 yards? Get ready, get ready. Let me go, let me go. Wait a second, be patient, let's be patient. Let's see if something else falls. He's broadside, he's broadside. I mean, what if the jumps up after him? Yeah, Man, patient, man. patient. Well, after that clip that we just watched, we looked to our left because we heard some sounds and it turns out the elk started galloping away because they caught a whiff of us. And so, I don't know, that moment just really, like, I don't know, it just makes me think, you know, like, I think I should have probably pulled the trigger. I don't know, I was kind of indecisive because maybe there was something bigger there or, I don't know, it was just a little spike, but, but yeah, it's just one of those moments where you do something and then you, like, regret it. So, what I would say, is definitely if it's your last day and you see a spike definitely take that shot other than that it was like it was our first big game hunt right and it was like one of the greatest experiences that we've had it was super refreshing to get back into nature and try to go find elk it was even more impressive that we did it with our three little three-man crew with no experience on a mountain with low elk population finding those things and having the chance you know but yeah guys that's my elk story